So there's this guy. And I'm not talking like a regular guy like you or me. I'm talking about a rich guy. And when I say rich, I don't mean like he has a slightly larger McMansion than yours. I'm talking like this guy has solid gold bathrooms. Now, this guy didn't inherit his money. He's not like George Bush with daddy's oil money or, uh, you know, Johnson Johnson with the baby shampoo. This guy built his empire from the ground up. This guy is the real deal. Now, this guy has a son, his firstborn son and his only son. Now, this is not a dumb man we're talking about. He knows if he wants his kid to be smart like him, he can't spoil him like all his rich friends do with their kids. So he decides he's not. He's going to buy him presents just like any other ordinary average American kid would get. He gets him an Xbox, maybe occasionally a skateboard, but he's not going to go any higher than that. He's going to have a regular childhood. But there is one exception to this rule. He decided that on his son's 16th birthday, he could have anything he wanted. So the father goes to his son on the day of the 16th birthday and he says, All right, son, you can have anything you want. So the son goes into his room and thinks about it for a very long time and he comes back out and he goes to his father and he says, Dad, on this, the day of my 16th birthday, I only want one thing. So dad asks, what do you want? One pink ping pong ball. Dad is flabbergasted. He turns and says, son, are you sure? I'm offering you the world. The son looks back into his dad's eyes, puts his hand on his shoulder and says, dad, if you love me, you'll do this for me. Dad goes out, he buys that one pink ping pong ball, gives it to his son, son brings it into the room, and the dad never sees that thing again. So a year passes, 365 days, and now it's the son's 17th birthday. So dad goes to his son and he says, the offer still stands. You can have anything you want. And the son thinks about it for a second and says, all right, dad, here's what I need from you. I need five pink ping pong balls. Now dad thinks this is a joke. He says, are you sure? The son looks him in the eyes. Once again, he puts his arm on his shoulder and he says, Dad, all I need is five pink ping pong balls. So dad goes out, buys his son five pink ping pong balls, brings him back. Son takes him into his room and dad never sees those things again. And on this goes, year after year, a hundred pink ping pong balls, a thousand pink ping pong balls, until finally it's the son's 26th birthday. He's graduated from college, he has a master's degree, and he's getting married to the love of his life. So a day before the wedding, dad goes to his son and he says, Son, this time I need you to take me seriously when I say I will buy you anything. You're about to get married, there are a lot of things you're gonna need. So the son says to his father, Dad, I've thought it over a lot, and here's what I need you to do. So dad asks his son, what can I get for you? And the son replies, I need you to buy up all of the ping pong ball production factories across the east coast of America so that I will never have to ask you for a ping pong ball again. So dad takes his son by the shoulder and he says, all right, son, but next year I'm buying you a house. So father and son stand in silence for a moment before dad asks, I have to know, son, what are you doing with all these ping pong balls? The son takes his father by the shoulder and he says, dad, someday you'll see and when when you find out, you're going to be so proud of me. 20 years and a million ping pong balls later, the son is in a terrible car accident. His wife is killed instantly and he's rushed to the hospital, but they tell him it's no use. He's not going to last the night, so he's brought home to live his last night out in comfort. After everyone is done saying goodbye, it's dad's turn. He sits by his son's deathbed and takes his hand. Son, he says, I've tried to be the best father I can, and you've been the best son I can hope for. But there's one thing I need to know before you die. What have you been doing with all of those pink ping pong balls? There's a moment of utter silence, and all that can be heard is the soft beep, beep of the heart rate machine. Gathering all of his strength, the son grabs hold of his father's hand and pulls him in close. Dad, he says in a voice barely above a whisper, what I've been doing with all these ping pong balls over all these years is beep.